FNN. Headline News Update. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Let's take a quick look here at this market. I put up the chart of the NASDAQ, and as you can see, the high today was a 382, the high we made back here uh, about uh, three or four weeks ago. So that's an important thing to see that ABCD. If we close strongly above that number tonight, that means the market's probably going to go a great deal higher. Until that happens, the odds favor lower prices. Okay, folks, uh, some people have asked me a question about Qualcomm. I heard the interesting things in the previous show, and I have a great story on Qualcomm. I want to get up here and show it to you because I think it's it's worthy of, uh, you know, what's going on in the world. But, oh, dear, let's make sure that this is there we go. We're going to be fine. Stay with me, folks. We've got this covered. We're going to be fine. So just one second here. I have a very, very dear friend, one of my oldest friends, back in uh, San Diego, and in 1996-97 area, uh, he had a uh, guy from Mexico that moved up here. They came in every week to do his lawn and other people's lawns. They, they, they worked Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and they did the lawns for a lot of different people. And this young man, his name was Jorge, and every time that he got his money for the month, which was like $150 from John, he put it into a stock, and it, there was several other. He was doing a lot of lawns, so he was putting probably a thousand dollars a month into the stock called Qualcomm. Okay, and it was trading for a <laughs> really small amount. Anyway, and they and John said, you know, this is really dangerous, you know, to do this. And he said, no. He said, I do the lawn for this guy, and he said, this is a winner. He said, I'm going to hold it for ten years. This was 1998, and he sold it in 2008, long before the high was made. But when he when he when he sold it. He, all the lawns that he had done during those four or five years paid him one million dollars is what he got back and he took the million bucks and he moved back to, he was living in Mexico anyway we go back over to, up to the Tijuana border he lived in South uh, Mexico and uh, Rosarita Beach but uh, that's a great story on that and uh, he never never uh, wavered at all he sold it in 2008. It didn't top until 2022, but that was one heck of a move. I thought you'd enjoy that. And we'll be right back, folks. 877 Shane Smolians, our guest today at WolfTrader.com. 877 927 6648.